Hey guys, Thomas here. Um, give you guys a quick video on how I scan film and uh, a little bit of the process there using my Epson uh, V550 and Epson scan. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna scan uh, some 120. Alright, so I just put my uh, strip of film on the flatbed scanner. Uh, I just laid it right on there, no film holders. Um, although sometimes I do use the normal stock ones. Um, so I'm going to just start, you know, again by saying that this is just an intro to, you know, how my workflow goes and how I scan. It's not really a tutorial specifically on Epson Scan and all its features, but. Um, I'm just going to show you kind of how I work and hopefully it'll help some of you who have had some questions on, um, you know, whether it's the V550 or Epson scan or just to see kind of how I do it. I'm hoping that this kind of helps some of you guys. Um, so again, I got the film strip here. I pressed the preview button just to see what's, what we're going to scan here. So what I usually do from here is I will take... Um, let's see here, pointer, and I will kind of crop the negative here, you know, to where I want it to scan. So if you're looking for the borders and everything, this is a good way to scan the borders directly in your scan here. If you use the film holders, the stock ones definitely will, um, kind of cut off those edges so I'm going to show you um, how I'm doing this so after I get kind of a general crop I'll go to my zoom here and I'll just give you a bigger kind of preview of uh, of the negative you're going to be scanning so I'll let this load real quick Alright, so there is our negative. I cropped it pretty well actually, but while you're in here in the zoom, you can kind of go in and uh, adjust. And I kind of scanned the negative um, upside down, so I'll have to flip this. Uh, the Kodak will usually be on the right side, but for the tutorial purposes, it's not going to make any difference. So, um, so this is usually what the, the scan will look like. Some people prefer, you know, a complete flat scan and they like to do all their colors and editing and stuff inside like Photoshop or uh, Lightroom I usually try to get the image you know um, like 98 percent of the way there or finished while I'm scanning so I'll probably take a little bit more time in the scanning program than, than most people but um, so my settings over here I'm color negative because I'm scanning Portra um, 48-bit color resolution. I always have it on 3200, 2400, 3200. Um, usually past there, I, I don't see anything different about scanning past there. Um, so that's why I have it set it at. Um, my default size, I configured um, in film size. So I'm scanning medium format, format 6x7. And I've got my unsharp mask and dust removal on. Those are only two things I usually have um, pressed. So then I'll go in here to my histogram adjustments. And so for this, usually what I'll start off is I'll just obviously just look at the image here and see what we're working with. Um, it's going to kind of default to where the, the system thinks it should be. Um, but we're not going to let the system or the computer decide. Um, so, you know, obviously we can adjust things in here like our highlights, exposure, contrast, shadows, um, and all that good stuff. So usually what I'll do first is I'll kind of adjust and just see what, you know, kind of what I shot the film at, um, exposures and everything here. And I will get our highlights up. So this guy is 
pretty late at night. Not a ton of, uh, um, it wasn't really overexposed, wasn't really underexposed. I'm not seeing any nasty shadows. So, okay, so now I kind of know what we're working with here. Um, next thing I'll do after I kind of adjust things, um, sort of like that here, I'll go into this guy, my image adjust. And what I like to do is um, usually I always start with the, the yellows here. Um, most of the time, I'm not going to be sliding towards blue. I like my yellows, and I like portraits yellows, so most of the time, I'm going to slide this bad boy down. Usually some around 15 to 20 is where I usually find myself um, adjusting this to. Greens, um, again, there's no kind of math or science behind it. I just go all by what I'm looking at in the image. Most of the time, these are going to be at like negative 10, negative 15. Um, just not a huge green person. And if there's green in the shadows or anything, I, I am going to take that out. I just, just, just don't like it. And the cyan, the red, usually I don't really adjust this at all. That's usually just kind of zeroed out here. Uh, saturation, so for me, um, you know, since I'm kind of doing a ton of work here with the color rendition of the, the negative, um, I, I like to make sure that the colors look like, um, or the colors in the scan look exactly like what I saw in the real life. So if I'm not seeing that at this point, um, you know, I'll take the saturation and I will slide this up until I get to this point where I'm like, okay, all right, um, that's more of what it looked like. So somewhere around there. Sometimes I'll just smash them just to see what it looks like. Um, sometimes it can get pretty nasty, but depending on the image you're looking at, it's all personal taste here. So the further you go up, you can see the the yellows and orange in the flowers getting pretty saturated. So this is again personal taste. Um, me, I probably leave some around there, and that's still pretty high. But I like those vibrant colors, so I'm not ashamed in that. <laughs> so and then I'll come back here after I feel like the colors and is somewhat of a decent place, and then I'll again mess with the exposure and the highlights here, so you can tell. Okay. And it's probably actually about right here. And a lot of the time, I'll put these highlights down just to get that kind of flat, even colored background without any like gradient color in there. So I'll push this guy down. And then I got our mid-tone kind of my contrast here. Um, in a case like this where I've got the film edges, so I'll usually bring it down, and then you can see that the film edges here, there's some red shadows in there, and then I'll slightly bring it up to where the border or the black part of the image, or whatever is the darkest part of the image, until I can't see those shadows anymore. Um, so somewhere around here. And that's about where I'll leave it. And that's just a quick you know, general overview of how I work. Again, I'll kind of look at the histogram, see where um, the light's kind of reading, where the highlights are kind of reading, and then I go into the, the image adjust to get these colors. Again, like the yellows and the magentas, like I've scanned portrait for so long that I just kind of default to, to this kind of uh, look or specifics you know depends on the image again too sometimes there's already a ton of yellow in the image maybe and I'll have to slide things the other way but this is usually where I start with um, so that'll give you a good idea of uh, where I go to so things are looking pretty good to me I make sure that my settings are correct the order is the way I want them and then I'll hit scan and then I'll ask you where you want to save it to, do you want to name it? 
And then I always scan as a TIFF. Um, none of this other nonsense. I don't want to scan as a JPEG. I'm, if I have to do any editing to it later again or sharpening, if I really need it, I'm not going to uh, double up on that. So save it as a TIFF, um, and then save it to your hard drive or your, your mul or, uh, external hard drive, and then we'll hit OK. And that takes a few minutes here. Uh, it says 25, but it never takes 25 minutes. It'll take a few minutes, and then it'll pop up on my desktop. So that's kind of a you know quick intro to it. Um, this will at least get some questions going, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions uh, that you guys may have. So please let me know, and um, any more specific questions about the scanner or the software, I'm, I'm happy to answer, but that gives you, like I said, a, a good general overview. So thanks for uh, watching, guys, um, and if you want to see anything else on my process or shooting, film, pl please let me know. I'm happy to do my best to answer. So thanks so much.